Hi everyone, Mac here. So today we are on part three of our mini series and uh, we'll be talking about uh, how to put together the about page. Now on the way we did the home page was pretty much building it from scratch, but uh, Divi comes with um, what are known as predefined layouts. So these are just uh, pages that are designed already for you. So all you need to do is to load them up and put the content and replace what's in that uh, design. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. So what we're building is the about page. Now the advantages of using this predefined layout is it saves you time to build all these pages from scratch. And this is what we'll be covering throughout this whole mini series. It's not about me just building these pages as they are using the same style. So you'll notice that even on the landing page, uh, which is part four, we are now uh, importing layout packs. So again, that's a different technique uh, we're going to use to build these pages. But let's go back to about us because I'm a bit ahead of myself right now. Um, the about page. As I mentioned, it's uh, we're using predefined layouts, so um, all you have to do is to load them up and then just replace the content in those um, areas with what you um, what you need. So as I mentioned again in the previous episode, if you want to buy DV 3.0 to build your own websites, I have an affiliate link which I will include in the show notes. So if you use that, it helps uh, the show. Um, with the hosting uh, and also anything that goes towards building these uh, or making these videos. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to build the about page using a predefined layout. So to add a new page, all I have to do now is to come here to where it says new. And I'm just going to click on page. And then I'm just going to call this about us. Okay, I've uh, clicked on use Divi Builder and now use Visual Builder. As before, the page comes blank, but to save yourself a lot of time, you can use our predefined layout. So let me show you how to do that. Now, if I click on this load from library button, this is where we can choose which pages we can use. So I'm gonna go with the about us. It's loaded all the elements of our predefined layout. So what we can do now is to choose the elements that we need to use and delete the ones that we don't need to use. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this top section, delete this one here so I can have my own layout. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new section. Again, it's going to be regular, one row, and I need to add text to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the text right here like that. And I'd like the text orientation to be centered. So I'm going to go ahead now and, oh, in fact, before I click uh, save, I'm just going to add a, the heading title. Okay, and I'm going ahead, I'm going to go ahead and save. Now that we have that in place, I'm just going to highlight this heading title and make it a headline. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to close that and I'm going to drag this to the top like that. Okay, so the plan with this is to have a, an image in the background or even a video, but I'm going to add this towards the end of the training. What makes our predefined layouts really powerful is the fact that we can just replace all this content that's here already with our own, and that's the quickest way we can have uh, these, page, uh, these page layouts done. I'm going to go into the settings of uh, this module and add an image. So pretty much what I'm doing here is to replace this image and um, replace this text with the text I need. So I'm going to click on upload. Now if you haven't uploaded the images to your, uh, to your website, all you need to do here is to click on upload files, select files, so I'm going to go here to the desktop and then click on uh, DV 3.0 Live. So this is the folder that could have all my images. And then all you need to do is to click on the image and then click open. So that's how you add your images onto your media library. So since I have my images in place, all I need to do now is to click the images that I need. So I'm going to start off with this guy here, upload image. And then that image straight away has been added onto the website. I mean, you can see um, the image right here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and 
add all the information that we need. So team member one, uh, we can replace that and give him a name. So we could call this guy Jack, like that. Company role, we can always come here and change that. So we're gonna call this guy a uh, creative director. So for the remainder of these images, all I've done is I've done the steps that I've done in this first example, and I've just gone ahead and filled in the name and also the roles. Okay, now the other thing that makes these predefined layout really work is the fact that all we need to do now is we can just go in and replace this text with the text that um, we need. So for example, here on our story, all you can do is to click on the um, module settings, expand it a bit, and then you can edit this text. Okay, and you can also do the same here, you can just go into the module settings and then you can change the percentages as you wish. So customer happiness, if I go into that gear icon, I could change that to 80 and then that updates live as you can see here. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. We're going to come back and add uh, the graphics onto uh, this page. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you build pages using predefined layouts. So in the next um, episode, we'll be talking about how to build a landing page using um, layout packs. So these are, pre these are defined uh, pages that are saved, which you can actually import and adjust to your liking. So that's what's coming up in um, the next video, which is video four on the landing page. So again, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to use that affiliate link and also do uh, give me some ratings on iTunes. If you like what I'm producing, this helps this show become more popular and I'll really appreciate uh, uh, if you did that for me. So uh, see you in the next video and take care.